Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lokinder Kumar and today we will discuss coagulase test and catalase test for the detection of Staphylococcus aureus. These two tests, they are important tests in biochemistry of Staphylococcus aureus, in biochemical analysis of Staphylococcus aureus and we need to understand the mechanism, how to perform these tests and how to interpret the results. We will also discuss the examples of the catalase positive and coagulase positive as well as the negative organisms. So in this particular video presentation, I will be discussing these two tests in detail. I have already made a detailed video on coagulase test separately. So you can watch that video and understand how the process of coagulation that happens specifically using the bacterial coagulase enzyme in this video presentation, I will discuss uh, the brief introduction of coagulase, brief introduction of catalase, and how to perform these two tests. Before we start this presentation, I want you to pay attention to this particular uh, the organism name. Here, I can show you that I have used the italics font to uh, write the organism name because in microbiology, it's important that we should write the organism genus and the species specifically in italics in my further video slides i'm using italics font so it's really hard to differentiate between the italic and non-italic uh, items so what i'm doing right now in my presentation is i'm underlining those particular genuses so that you can identify the bacterial names the genus name as well as the species name all right so with that note I'm going to start the presentation and I hope that video is going to help you to understand these two important biochemical tests. And if you like my video, then please do subscribe to the channel and uh, do share the video uh, with your friends so that uh, I get motivated and make more videos on uh, similar topics. All right. So without, with that note, I will just jump onto the presentation part. All right, uh, let me start with the first slide. As you can see, I have designed these two independent illustrations and I'm gonna use these two illustrations to explain what is catalase test and what is coagulase test. Let's jump on to the second slide. Here, I'm explaining the catalase test. So we'll discuss this particular test point by point. In the first point, as you can see, I have written Staphylococcus are catalase positive and streptococcus as well as the enterococcus bacterial genesis they are catalase negative so you need to remember this particular point uh, because it's going to help you to differentiate between these two specific genesis right staphylococcus are always catalase positive and streptococcus as well as enterococcus they are catalase negative i have also written this uh, particular point here as you can see and in this particular test, important point is the catalase positive organisms, they produce an enzyme known as catalase enzyme. And what that catalase enzyme, enzyme does is the degradation of hydrogen peroxide, which causes the release of oxygen. And you can detect the presence of oxygens, oxygen molecules in your reaction by seeing the bubble formation. So if you have few drops of uh, H2O2 on a slide and you add freshly grown inoculum of the bacteria, maybe a loop full of the bacteria or a single bacterial colony, what you will see is the production of oxygen in the form of bubble. If you see that bubble formation and it's very, very clear, you can easily detect the catalase enzyme because the turnover of this particular enzyme is very, very high its reaction speed is extremely fast, right? Because of that, you will immediately see the bubble formation. And if you see the bubble formation, that will indicate that the organism is catalase positive. And I've already told you that Staphylococcus are, are catalase positive and Streptococcus, they are catalase negative, as well as the Enterococcus are catalase negative. For this particular test, you will use 3% H2O2. There should be enough 
uh, for the bacteria to uh, provide the uh, the result in the form of bubble production and uh, you should use bacterial colony you can also use overnight grown liquid culture but remember that you should have a fresh culture that means uh, you have to inoculate the organism on the previous day so that you have overnight grown culture of the bacteria freshly grown culture of the bacteria and then you perform this particular test if you have staphylococcus aureus you will immediately see the bubble formation and uh, if you have any staphylococcus species you will see bubble formation so that will indicate the catalase positive test now let's move on to the coagulase test in case of the coagulase test you will have the production of coagulase enzyme by the bacteria that you are trying to test if there is a production of coagulase enzyme there will be a reaction that is known as coagulation i have made a detailed video on coagulation i will post that the link of that particular video in the description and you can see that video in that video i have explained how bacterial coagulase that performs the coagulation reaction in this particular video let's just quickly review the test how to perform this particular test as you can see you can perform this particular test by two different ways first slide second tube slide coagulase test detects the bound coagulase you need to remember that particular point and the tube coagulase test usually most of the time detects the free coagulase okay and uh, how you can perform this test again you need to have freshly grown culture of the bacteria or uh, you have a fresh freshly grown culture uh, of the bacteria or the freshly grown colony of the bacteria then you will add plasma right and plasma will have the fibrinogen in the presence of coagulase enzyme the fibrinogen will 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 be converted to fibrin and that's basically long threads of the uh, the proteins uh, the blood protein that is present in uh, in the plasma because of the thread formation there will be coagulation reaction right and you can detect the presence of uh, the as i've already mentioned you you can detect the bound coagulase using slide test you can detect uh, free coagulase using tube test now if you see visible clumping so that's the important point in this case you will immediately see the gel formation if you see that gel formation that will indicate the positive result uh, and uh, another important point is for some strains of staphylococcus aureus the tube tube test is better because in case of the tube test what you do is you perform the same test but you will incubate at least overnight right so if there is uh, the secretion of the coagulase which is in most of the cases will be will be uh, slow so during the overnight incubation you will have the production of coagulase and you will see next day after 24 hours or 15 hours 15 to 18 hours uh, you will see the gel formation and that gel formation will indicate the presence of coagulase this is very important test to detect or to differentiate pathogenic and non-pathogenic strains of staphylococcus this is positive in case of staphylococcus aureus and this test is negative in case of staphylococcus epidermidis right so it is really important uh, because with this test you can differentiate between two different strains so if you have a bacterial sample you can perform catalase test now you can differentiate between streptococcus and staphylococcus further you if you perform the coagulase test and um, uh, you see the coagulase positive that will clearly indicate you have staphylococcus aureus in your sample right and i always say that there are pcr based assays but they are mostly most of the time they are expensive so these tests they are not that expensive you can routine, routinely do these tests in your lab and differentiate between different strains specifically when you have large amount of samples and you have uh, uh, you, uh, you have uh, little money to perform the identification preliminary identification then you can perform these two tests and try to identify staphylococcus aureus uh, in your sample all right so let's move on to the final slide and uh, this is the same slide that i've used at the first place uh, here i'm trying to summarize the catalase test as you can see 
using a loop full of the bacterial culture if you see the bubble formation that will indicate the catalase positive reaction in this case staphylococcus aureus will give catalase positive test so these are the two important tests that you can perform in the lab in the routine microbiological lab and try to identify the bacteria and i hope that uh, this video presentation helped you to identify uh, the uh, the steps that are required to perform these tests and uh, to understand the mechanism of uh, the reactions uh, that are behind the results of these tests right so i hope uh, you like the video if you like the video then please do subscribe to the channel and show your support your support is really important because that motivates me and i made more videos on the similar topics right so i hope uh, that you're going to support me and uh, you're going to keep watching my videos and i hope they are going to help you uh, in your studies with that note i will conclude my presentation and i'll see you in my next video where i'm going to um, give presentations or video tutorials on similar kinds of topics so with that with that note i will just conclude the presentation and i will see you in my next video thank you and take care